The Weaver Bird, an African poem by Kofi Awono. Please like our videos, subscribe, hit the bell for more exciting videos. Kofi Awono's Biography Kofi Awono Born 13th March 1935 and died on 21st September 2013 was a Ghanaian poet and author whose work combined the poetic traditions of his native Ewe people. He started writing under the name George Awono Williams. He taught African literature at the University of Ghana. Professor Awono was among those who were killed in the September 2013 attack at shopping mall in Nairobi, Kenya. Now let's consider the poem titled The Weaver Bird by Kofi Awono. The weaver bird built in our house and laid its eggs on our only tree. We did not want to send it away. We watched the building of the nest and supervised the egg laying. And the weaver returned in the guise of the owner, preaching salvation to us that owned the house. They say it came from the west where the storms as sea had felled the girls and the fishers dried their net by lantern light. Its sermon is the divination of ourselves and our new horizon limits at its nest. But we cannot join the prayers and answers of the communicants. We look for new homes every day, for new altars we strive to rebuild. The old shrines defiled by the weaver's excrement. Now let's look at some of the themes in the poem. The negative effect of colonialism. The weaver bed is about colonialism and its negative effect on the indigenous African. This foreign domination and control happens while the African watches with indifference. The African does not care about the activities of the weaver bird. That is why the poet said, we did not want to send it away. We washed the building of the nest and supervised the egg laying. The hospitality of the hosts gives the weaver bird the chance to marginalize them. What the African host failed to foresee is that the laid eggs will soon hatch and increase the number of nests needed by their guests and their offspring. The African is finally overwhelmed by the weaver bed. It is able to narrow the vision of the African. So the poet said, I quote and unquote, and our new horizon limits at its nests. So colonialism has affected the African view about life. Life in Africa is determined by Western standards and values. As Africans realize the harm done by the river bird, it becomes really difficult to regain their previous status as the real owners of the land. Another dimension of colonialism is that it cannot be detached from Christianity. Though Christianity predates colonial rule in many parts of Africa, many Africans are skeptical about Christianity because the colonial master himself professes this religion. It is seen by many as a tool to win the African so as to perpetuate colonial master's interest in Africa. Pretending to be the owner of the land on its return raises an alarm among the owners of the land. This makes them question the origin of the weaver bird. Imagery 
the personification of the bad building in our house gives a clear picture of weaver bears taking over a tree when one after the other these bears settle on a tree they colonize it and make it impossible for other bears to even perch on the tree symbols each object mentioned in this poem has some significance the river bed symbolizes destruction colonialism exploitation the persona see this bird to be a hypocrite deceiver a destroyer exploiter and a colonizer form and structure the poem is a narrative one it is written in both the present and the past tense the simple past tense is used to tell the activities of the river bird and its background i quote they say it came from the west unquote the remaining six out of the 16 lines of poem are written in the simple present tense exercise on this poem is in our next video thanks for watching please like our videos subscribe hit the bell for more exciting videos thank you